Hello everyone, my name is Laserjet and welcome back to Train Simulator Classic. Well, welcome back to a very laggy Train Simulator Classic. <laughs> My game is dying right now. So, we're in the new year, it's 2024, and I haven't actually done a big ultra massive race in a while, so I thought uh, we should kick off with some Bossman Games Locos. Hence why my game is basically dying, because Bossman Games makes some phenomenal, incredible uh, DLCs, but if you have all of them in one spot, it will kill your game. Like, my game has crashed five times just setting all this up. And you guys know that I love Bossman Games' DLCs. They have got great sound effects, they've got phenomenal... <laughs> Bossman Games have some phenomenal engines and great sound effects, massively good detail, and I just, I just love the work that Bossman Games does. But before we start the race, let's have a look at the locos we're going to be racing today. But before we start, you are going to click subscribe because we're at 99,123 subscribers. <laughs> we are getting closer. So, let's have a look at the engines we are going to be racing today. So, uh, in the Great Western Corner, we have got the uh, Earl of Mount Edgecombe, uh, a beautiful castle class. But unfortunately, uh, the castle class is on its own. There's no other Great Western uh, steam engines. Uh, this is the only Great Western loco that Bossman Games has made so far, as we know. So, the castle class is going to be representing uh, Team Great Western. Hmm... Now let's move on to Team LMS. We have got the Royal Scott, a Jubilee class, a Black 5, my game is so laggy, and a wonderful 8F. Now these uh, four incredible LMS engines, uh, we've got express trains, we've got freighters, and we've got mixed traffic engines in this one. So Team LMS, L LMS, Team LMS, LMS, Team LMS, yeah, Team LMS will might have a chance of winning today's race, I don't know, because these engines are quite fast. But moving on to my personal favourite, Team Southern. <laughs> I do be being a Southern boy myself. I mean, I love I love Southern engines. So we have got the Merchant Navy class Clan Line, a West Country class Bodmin, one of my favourite engines in the world, a gorgeous Battle of Britain, and a loco that's very close to my heart personally. Cheltenham, the schools class. So Team Southern has got four engines. Uh, Team LMS have got four engines, but Team Great Western only has one. It's it a bit sad. And each engine is pulling one singular Mark II support coach. Obviously, for Team Southern, we've got a nice uh, Southern Green uh, Mark II coach, although Clanline's got her own support coach, which does look pretty nice. For Team LMS, we have got a beautiful Mark II Bossman Games uh, Red Maroon Coach. Is that what the, was that what the colour's called? Maroon Coach? Maroon Red Coach? Something like that. And for Team Great Western, we've just got a normal standard um, Mark II. I don't know what the colour this is, but it's it's it's, it's Great Western colours and it's it's that and it, and it and it looks right. I don't really know. But anyway, we need to program all these engines. Uh, my game is literally dying. Again, um, setting this up was no easy task. My game crashed five times just setting this up, so it's, it's pretty funny. But anyway, uh, let's go to the world editor. Pray my game does not crash. I'm, I'm doing it like that right now. Um, oh, no! No! My game crashed! Oh, wow, why? Good job, train sim. Love you so much. Hey, we're back again. So, uh, we need to start programming these engines. So, <laughs> this could be the most laggiest uh, thing I've probably ever done. Uh, just got to have a look. Yeah, that looks fine. Rightio. So, uh, I think I need to go down here, don't I? Yes, I do. Oh, look at the, all these engines. So, uh, engine number one on platform one. This is probably take a while and we'll have you at 
Uh, ooh, should we say 150% power? Yeah, I think that'll do just nicely. Engine 2 on platform uh, 2. How many engines have we got? 9. Okay, this this will definitely take a while. Um... 150% power. Yep, that's good. Uh, engine uh, the three on platform uh, three. Where is it? There it is. And we'll have you on 150% power. I mean, I could edit this out, but obviously I want to keep this part in the video so you guys can see that there is no cheating involved. Um, I want to do this fairly and sensibly. And I'm not going to edit this out because then people will say in the comments, Oh, how come you edited out the programming? Uh, Oliver, you've cheated. You must have, like, you know, put one engine on 150 and the other's on, like, 200% power. So that's why. To stop any arguing. What engine is this? Number five. Yeah, on platform five. To stop any arguing or any, um... Well, yeah, just arguing. Uh, I'm keeping all this bit in the well, all this in the video because, because like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a very honest guy. What engine's this? Um, engine six on platform six. And I got 150% power. Did I do the other one on 150% um, power? Yes, I did. Okay, good. Engine 7 on platform 7. Where are you? Dooby 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 doo. There you are. And I'll have you on 150% power. And then, ooh, hold on. Uh, engine 8. We're nearly, ne nearly there, guys. Nearly there. Um, and then we'll have you on 150% power. Lovely. And engine nine, which is the school's class Cheltenham, or Cheltenham the school's class, I should say. Uh, platform nine, engine nine, and we'll have you on 150% power as well. I think that's done. Now, the big question is, who do you think is going to win? Is it going to be Cheltenham the school's class, uh, Battle of Britain, West Country, Merchant Navy, 8F, Black 5, Jubilee, Royal Scott, or Castle class? Hmm. We don't know. But which one do you think is going to win? Leave your answer in the comment section down below. My game is dying right now. So let's get this race underway. And as always, I'm driving the Superclass 47. Maybe I should put that on a t-shirt. But anyway, uh, I am ready to go. So let's click play. Uh, are, you so are you sure you want to save this? Uh, I don't know. There we go. We're off. And look at all that smoke. Who is going to be victorious? Let's have a look. Um, <laughs> my game is lagging so much. Um, at the moment, it does look pretty uh, close. Although the 8F and uh, the Castle and the Royal Scott are off to a brilliant start. Oh, this is going to get really loud. So, uh, I'm going to drive the Superclass 47. <laughs> oh my god, look at all these engines. My game is dying. Oh my god, that is loud. Let's turn the volume down just a little bit. Oh, look at all these engines go. Uh, I've got to get going as well. Let's close all these down. <laughs> I haven't done a race this big in ages. Oh, it's so good to be back. So, uh, who's losing at the moment? It looks like the Jubilee class is off to a slow start. Followed by um, the uh, West Country and Battle of Britain. Schools class Cheltenham's doing okay. Uh, Clan Line's doing okay. Who's in the lead at the moment? Surprisingly, it is the 8F that's in the lead. Although mine just got smaller wheels, so it might start off a lot more quicker than the others. Oh, but this is amazing! Coming up to the first corner with the 8F in the lead, followed by the uh, Royal Scott. In third place, it is uh, the Castle Class, the Earl of Mount Edgecombe. Fourth place is Clan Line. Uh, what, is it fourth place? Yeah, fourth place is Clan Line. Fifth place is Cheltenham the Schools Class. Oh, look at all these engines go. This is amazing. The Jubilee is falling behind. Although the Jubilee's got massive wheels, so it's very slow to start off with. But when it gets up to speed, it, it, it might be different. I don't know. You've got to remember, these are Bossman Games' engines. So theoretically, they all should be the same. But I bet you they aren't. I bet you anything that they aren't the same. I've just been overtaken by Cheltenham, the school's class. It is quite neck and neck of the, uh, well, with the Black Five and the Battle of Britain. Uh, Bodmin, the West Country class, isn't falling behind that much. Uh, the Jubilee class, uh, unfortunately, is in last place and is going quite slow. Black 5 is picking up a bit of speed. I think what we need to do, actually, is catch up to the leaders. So we'll leave these guys to bat it, bat, bat, battle it out. I'm just going to pass Cheltenham, the schools class. How are you doing, Cheltenham? Looking great there, Cheltenham. Lovely. I'll see you later. I love a schools class. But the question is, who is in the lead? So let's have a look ski. Gonna accelerate a little bit. Going under the bridge. So there's Clan Line, the Merchant Navy class. Looking good. Um, this is actually incredible. I was not expecting the 8F to uh, pull away so fast. Although, I think the 8F is now 
uh, slow down. Oh dear, the AF has lost a bit of speed. It did have it did have a good start, but because it's got very small wheels, uh, it might not be enough. Because by the looks of things, it looks like that clan line is about to overtake the eight. Oh my god, I need to see this actually. I'm gonna slow down and actually watch this because this is actually, this is really entertaining. Oh, look at the speed of the merchant navy. <laughs> so we'll say goodbye to the eight F and let's try and catch. I want to find out who's in the lead right now. It seems that the Royal Scot is in the lead. Um, oh. Oh dear. <laughs> oh no. It appears the uh, Earl of Mount Edgecombe's wheels have uh, stopped moving. <laughs> but no, seriously, the uh, the Castle Class's wheels are not moving. <laughs> I, think, I think it's bugged. Although, mind you, I've got so many Bossman Games as engines, I'm not surprised that it's bugged. But right now, the Royal Scot has got a bit of a lead. Uh, will the castle class catch up? I don't know. But let's have a look behind us. My game is dying right now. Um, and by the looks of things, I think Cheltenham is catching up to Clanline. Oh, hold on. That's something. That is definitely something I've got to see. Although, at the moment, it looks like that the castle class is actually going to overtake the Royal Scot. I don't know how this is happening, but it's happening. But there you go. Uh, the Earl of Mount Edgecombe is now in first place and has passed the Royal Scot. Apparently, the, the, a castle class is faster. <laughs> How do these races work? So anyway, in first place is the castle class. Second place is Royal Scott, who is in third place. Um, oh, this is interesting. Apparently, Cheltenham, the school's class, is in third and is still picking up speed. Hold on, uh, Royal Scott and castle class. Hold on, hey, hold on, hold on. I think that Cheltenham might be the fastest. If I look behind, who have we got? We can see Clan Line, I can see uh, Bodmin and the Battle of Britain class literally neck and neck. Uh, I don't know where the Jubilee class is. I don't know where the Black Five is. They're just they're all the way back there. I, I don't. I just. I don't see them. There's, there's, another, there's another engine all the way over there. I don't know who that is. I, I've literally forgotten who like who's who now. Oh, hang on, hang on. If we um, try and link speed with Cheltenham, doing about 130 miles per hour, it's actually gonna overtake the Royal Scot. How? <laughs> how is this even like possible? I mean, there's no way a uh, school's class is faster than the Royal Scar. I mean, that, 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 that is a bit silly, but it's, it's, it's Train Simulator. Like, you know, this, this is not how real life works, but this is just how Train Simulator works. Um, but Cheltenham is, it has got a lovely southern green on the side of the boiler. I do love a nice southern green. But bye-bye, Royal Scar. It looks like Cheltenham is uh, a little bit faster than you. Hmm... This is, a, this is a very interesting and entertaining race. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply my brakes. And let, uh, I'm just going to let them ball it out. Um, the Castle Class has got a massive lead right now. Uh, but then again, as we've proven in my last video, well, it was actually a video. It was more of a live stream of when I was racing the Castle Class and uh, Caledonian Works as King Class. And uh, it had a very slow stop. So we'll, we'll just have to wait and see. So who's in last place? Uh, it looks like that the Black Five is second to last. And I think that might be the Jubilee in the far distance. I think. I think it's the Jubilee class. Um... But what I'm really surprised about is how close Bodmin and the Battle of Britain class is. I mean, let's have, let's have a quick look, shall we? I mean, look at these two. I mean, they're just literally neck and neck. Although Bodmin has got like a slight little lead over the uh, the Battle of Britain. Um, oh wait, hold on. Is that the Jubilee class? Hold on. If I oh yeah, that's the Jubilee class. Where did you... I thought you were in last place a moment ago. So so hold on, who's who are those guys? It must be the Black Five. And and the 8, 8F. It's got to be the 8F. The Black Five and the 8F. It's got to be. Uh, oh, this is where things will get a little bit more interesting. But the uh, but Clan Line is, um, has slowed down quite a bit. Clan Line has lost a lot of speed. But the Jubilee class is now in front of Clan Line. No, yeah. The Jubilee class is in front of Clan Line, Bodmin, and the Battle of Britain class. And I've just got a message on Steam. Who's it from? Oh, it's from my twin brother. Oh. I'll have to, talk, I'll have to message you back in a minute. <laughs> Sorry, Tom. Oh, but hold on. Look at this. This is getting interesting. Clan line is being overtaken by the Battle of Britain class and Bodmin. Oh, dear. Clan line. For a Merchant Navy class, you're supposed to be really fast. I guess that's just not the case. 
But what we're going to do now is we're going to leave these engines uh, to, like, you know, ballot out again because we need to get to the front to see who's going to come in first place. But the Jubilee has caught up quite a bit. So, uh, who, who, who's, who's who? That's, that's the Royal Scott. No idea what place that's in. Uh, who is this? I think this is Cheltenham. It is Cheltenham. And I think the castle class must be in the lead. So let's have a look on the mini map. Oh my god, my game is so laggy. Um, who's in the front? Yep, it looks like the castle class is in the front. So, uh, well, is in the lead. So I'm going to link up speed with the castle class. And then we're going to get to the finish line and see who will stop first. Ah, there's the castle class. Uh, oh, <laughs> I completely forgot that the wheels are completely bugged. Um, but, like, you know, because, like, you know, I've got a lot of Bossman Games locos running in one spot. Um, I'll let it slide because, like, you know, I, I wouldn't be surprised if something was bugged slightly. Because, like, you know, my game is just dying right now. But I've got to say, Bossman Games, you did an amazing job on your castle classes. Even though it's slightly bugged. But, like, you know, we'll, we'll, I'm, I'm not judging that. Oh, but up the hill we go. Uh, I'll plug my brakes a little bit. I think um, the Earl of Mount Edgecombe, the uh, Team Great Western, um, is, uh, well, it, it might actually have a chance of winning this, even though, like, you know, it's all by itself. Uh, Team Great Western will be proud of the Earl of Mount Edgecombe, the castle class. I mean, I, I, I would be. But we are coming up to the finish line, and... Uh Oh, she slowed down quite a bit. Uh, only doing like 60-something-ish miles per hour. Where are the other engines? Oh, look, they're all bunched up together. That is, uh, that is, uh, that is really cool, but slightly, uh, slightly concerning. But anyway, um, oh, I can see the finish line on the mini-map, and, uh, the castle class has slowed down a lot. Oh, hey, and the wheels are fixed! Hooray! See, that's the thing about Bossman Games' engines. They fix themselves. But it is slowing down quite a bit, so, um, hmm. I don't know. It, 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 I don't know. I like, all I know, it, it's getting close and all the engines are coming together. It's quite close between these guys, though. But, um, but I'm amazed how fast the, uh, the castle class has, has been going throughout this entire race. Oh, and there's the finish line in the distance. Um, <laughs> I can see all the engines all coming in. <laughs> Look at that. That's amazing. Although this is going to... Well, my game is already dying, but that is going to absolutely kill my FPS. They've all slowed down quite a bit now. Mmm. Who is it going to be? The castle class or the schools class? Mmm. It's quite close between those two. Oh, I could just see the Royal Scott in the distance as well. Who's going to stop first? I don't know. There's other engines in the distance. <laughs> this is amazing. I forgot how, like, entertaining this is. But here we go, representing the Great Western Railway. For Team Great Western, we have, in first place, the Castle Class. Hey! I did feel for the Castle Class, because it was it was all by himself. It had, it had no uh, teammates. It was all alone. But she's won! Team Great Western Railway is in first place. And here come the others. In second place, it looks like it will be Team Southern for Cheltenham, the Schools Class. Oh wow, I just love the school's class. They just they're just just just, just marvellous engines. They they're so pretty. Hold on, I think that's all the engines here. It's very close, isn't it? I'm actually like these engines may stop very slowly, but this is a really close finish. Lovely. I think Cheltenham, yep, Cheltenham's got second place for Team Southern. Hooray! I do like Southern engines. And in third place, it looks like it's the Royal Scott for Team LMS. Excellent work. But we've got the Jubilee, the 8F, the Black Five, uh, the Merchant Navy, Bodmin, the West Country, and Battle of Britain. They're, they're all, they're all, oh, they're not, I, don't, I don't know who's going to stop first. I just don't know. But here we go. In third place, it's the Royal Scott. Um, who's going to be fourth? I, I have literally have no idea who's going to be in fourth. Um, so Parker right there. Who's, who's, who's going to be in fourth place? I don't know. Um... I'm going to have, to have, the, like, the, have the camera like right above all of these engines because I don't know who's going to be fourth or fifth. Uh, I might need your guys' help. So anyway, who's going to stop first? Is it the 8F? I think the 8F stopped just before the Jubilee. Yes, it has. What about um, Battle of Britain and uh, West Country? Uh, I think that, that's a tie. Um, I, I can't judge that. That was just a tie. But the Black Five or uh, Clan Line, the Merchant Navy. Uh, I think the Black Five is next. And Clan Line, the Merchant Navy is in last place, which is quite weird because Clan Line was very fast about that entire race. But there we go. Um, 
I, I don't know who, who came for fifth, six, seven, eight. I'll, I'll, I'll let you guys judge. But that was a really, really close finish, in, in, especially between um, Bodmin and the Battle of the Bread. Those two were just neck and neck throughout this entire race. But we have to be honest, we have concluded that there is one winner who, in fairness, uh, had no teammates. Uh, it was all by itself. It was the only uh, engine in its class to uh, salvage their railway company. And it is the Great Western, well, the Team Great Western, uh, the Earl of Mount Edgecombe representing the castle class. Beautiful. Absolutely wonderful. But out of these engines, which one would you guys prefer? Would you prefer the Castle Class, the Royal Scot, Jubilee Class, Black 5, 8F, Merchant Navy, West Country, Battle of Britain, or a Schools Class? Which one out of these do you guys like the best? Leave your answer in the comment section down below. But I'm sorry to say that this is the end of this video. But I hope you guys did enjoy it. Make sure you click that subscribe button. Very important because we are so close to 100,000 subscribers. We're creeping up to the big 100k. Hashtag in the, in the comment section down below. Hashtag 100,000 uh, or, or hashtag 100k. You can do what you want. And follow me on my Twitter and Instagram. You don't have to, but the links are in the description if you want to. And also for 2024, I've got some brand new LazyJet merch. If you head over to the website, I'll leave the link in the description below. Check out some new merch. I think you guys might like it. I've got some uh, really cool stuff to show you. Uh, head over to the merch. If you want to buy some like a t-shirt or, or a hoodie or a, or a cup or, or a sports bag, just go, go to the website, have a look, make yourself feel comfortable and see what you can find. But thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in the next one.